wealthy lady walks into a funeral parlor and arranges her own funeral. She does everything, the psalms, the music, even the casket. She then goes home and she's murdered. But then it takes a very, very unexpected turn because there's a classic detective in this story. His name is Daniel Hawthorne. He's not the most pleasant of people. He's a very damaged, difficult man. He's been fired from Scotland Yard in London for reasons we don't yet know. Uh, he's paid by the day and he hasn't got enough money to support him. So what he does is he finds a ghostwriter. He goes out and searches for a writer to write about his investigation. And this is what's peculiar because the writer he finds to do the job very reluctantly is me. So my inspiration, I suppose, was partly Magpie Murders, which is where I began all this, but it was also just the whole idea of trying to sort of break the envelope and, and do something different with the whodunit formula.